is Dear Shu Mishnah Mura. We're going to be learning today Simin Choftes and Simin Lamid Sif Aleph through Sif Gimel. All the learning has been sponsored as an incredible Schlosser for Shlema. For Chedvalea Basar Adina, we're learning, we're davening, we're hoping and praying in Mirza Hashem that the source of all the learning should bring Chedvalea Basar Adina an incredible Rafua Shalema. And we begin Sif, Simen Chavtas. Again, interestingly, the Machaber does not coin and title the Simen, it just says Ubay Sif Echad. Says the Machaber, in the Varich Shoma Bracha Yitzvah Tzvilin. You don't make a Bracha with Tikov Yitzvilin. Afilu Kshacholta Merev Shabbos Bein Hashemashais. Says the Mishabura Sif Katan Alev, in the Varich Pirush. That the Bnei Ma'arav, when they took off the Tefillin every night, they would make a special bracha of Asher Kedishan of Zosav Yitzvanu Lishmar Chukov. Says the Mishtabura, the Shulchan Aruch is teaching us not to say that bracha. Why would they say that bracha? Shema, you're serving the Laila of Lav's Mount Tefillinu. They paskin, you're not allowed to wear Tefillin at night. And they're Therefore, when they took it off, they made this brach. V'naf keluza, and they learned this out from me. Kroth shmartem is the chukas of the madim yom yomimimah. Then they darshin yomim loy laylos. Avolididon explains the mishmur. We disagree, and this is an important rule that's going to follow us through the day. This fear law and the high cross. He didn't know how to teach the gemara. That this pasuk is teaching us a different halacha than the gemara. Real and really, the layla kaimel and his man tefillinu layla ostensibly in a vacuum. Is the time of tefillin? Ah, however, of course, in lanich lechatchila the gadol shem yisha men biyafiach is a sidebar reason you know where tefillin at night. We're afraid you're going to fall asleep. You're going to pass gas. But the etzem essentially you could wear tefillin at night. Hold kachin the varich and therefore you don't make this bracha <clears throat> when you take off your art tefillin. And the mechaber said even when you take them off erev shabbos being hashemashos says mishabura they've got them base pirish after the camel on the shabbos the yantav lavs man tefillin. Now everyone agrees that on shabbos. You know where it's filling. So seemingly now you should make this bracha. Then if you would want, you're not allowed to wear tefillin on Shabbos and Yantif. Mikal Makaim says, Mr. Bura, even she may nicha la belika vanula she mitzvah. Amos Eser minat taira. Let's say you put it in tefillin on Shabbos without kavana for a mitzvah. It's not an itzda rai. Tell him the very side for him. What's the iser? Why are you not let a weird tefillin for no reason stam on Shabbos? I'm afraid you might carry the tefillin out into the street. Those that argue, it's not So the whole reason we're taking them off, even on Arab Shabbos, is only a gezeira. Therefore, there is no bracha that one would have to make. And again, just chazring over Sivkot and Aleph, we bask in Layla is a Zman Tfilin, theoretically, and therefore you would not make this bracha as well. Continuing in, actually before we continue, let's just see a dear shu over here, dear shu note number one, points out when you take your Tfilin or Rosh Chaydeh, something that we mentioned yesterday, um, yesterday we mentioned to make sure to put the Shal Reish inside the tick, in the bag, and here it is points out when do you take it off, we take it off after Kaddish before Mosav, and we already seen that Ali Rabbah said, no, you take it off in the middle of the Uval Etzion by the Yerat Shishmar Chukecha, because this is similar to the bracha of the Nehmer Arava of Lishmar Chukecha, that's with Ali Rabbah's sheet, and now things make a little bit more sense, why the Ali Rabbah taught us to take off the tefillin at that precise moment, of course, that's not the most prevalent minog, and now we're understanding why, because we don't make the bracha as well. Now we go back to Simin Lamid, which is coined as Zman Hanachasim. The time of putting on tefillin says the says the Mechaber in Sif Aleph. Zman Hanachasim Ba'Boik. You're in the morning. Mishir's Chavir Ragli Moi. When you see a friend that you're accustomed to seeing, Sas Berich Lidal Amos Yikrenu. When he's four Amos away from you, you're a little bit familiar with him, and you can see him four Amos away. This is the time commonly referred to in Halacha as a Mishay Yakir. Says the actually that's that's not. 
really accurate, so let's let's not say that. Let's go into the Mishnah. This is the beginning time you let it put in your tefillin. You wear your tefillin all day. But until this time, and we're afraid you can fall asleep. And if it's called the night, lenient tefillah. And if he's far away, if you know him well, it's your wife, brother, mother, sister, even far away you can recognize him. If you don't know him at all, and this is the in-between period. And of course, dear Shino number two over here goes to a length explaining how we calculate the time, but we'll just suffice to say, I in my Zmanim or your local Luach to find out the time for the earliest time of putting on Talis and Tefillin. Continues the Mechaber and Tefbiz, you don't put on Tefillin at night. Why? So we just learned Simon Chavtes. So it's beautiful. We understand that really you're allowed to wear tefillin at night. But we don't do it because you might fall asleep in them. If you put them on before sunset, and now it comes nighttime. If you're wearing them the entire night, it's allowed. But we don't tell you to do this. If you didn't take off your tefillin when it turns shkia, you know where to put your tefillin safely. And now you're wearing them to guard them, you're allowed. So this sift tells with a unique case that you're putting them on right before Shki, it's becoming nighttime. So if you're wearing them to guard them, that's allowed. If you're just wearing them stam, it sounds like it's okay, but we don't tell you to do that. So says Mr. Burras, have gotten Gimel Balailo Binashmashes. What about twilight? Between Shkia and Sizakikham, which we know in Allah is a Allahic status of a suffix, it's a suffix ba'etzim, it's essentially unknown whether it's day or night between Shkia, sunset, and Sitzchavim. Nightfall. At that time, it sounds like you had to put it on then. If you do not put on tefillin yet, don't wish ever come to that case. But if it were to ever happen, a very important sack of the Mishtabura, if one forgets, um, which has happened, there have been cases like this we can't talk about right now, someone forgot, someone woke up late, whatever the case is, and now it's been a shema shais, you'll have to put on your tefillin, paskins, the mishtabura, based on the prima gadim. Why don't you wear your tefillin at night, because you're afraid you might sleep in them. We're afraid you might like yaz out in your sleep. As we've seen already, what was the din de Rabbana? Not to put on your tefillin lechatzchila night. Avul, if you're already wearing them, you don't have to take them off, and you're allowed to wear them kolal ayla. Pirish calls manchin chaltzin as long as you don't take them off. Tilu chaltzin pamachas. Once you take them off, then you have the din derabon and shemasa anichan. So he said, if you're wearing the tefillin by day, you're allowed to wear them at night. It's mutter. Ratzalaimar says we should have gotten zayin adz man shiroit lishan until you want to go to sleep. Taz behechrich my sir and shas lishan. Then you have to take him off because you're not allowed to go for a set sleep in your tefillin. Come on, Mr. Mendalit. And maybe, says Mr. Brura, normally to take a nap, to doze off in your tefillin is okay. But maybe at night, because it's the time of sleeping, even that would not be okay. But this halacha, again, someone's wearing his tefillin by day, and it becomes nightfall. Says the Machaber, you're allowed to wear them the whole night till you want to go to sleep. It's mother. But... We don't tell people to do this. We don't tell other people to do this. Why not? We're afraid he might come to put them on the first time at night. We should only do this in privacy, not in public. Doing it is like paskening when everyone sees you wearing your tefillin at night. With your tefillin on, and the only time you'll ever see this is people who are tefillin all day, which is not so common. We know Chaim Pechashamri used to wear tefillin all day. Other gedolim 
Uh, but nowadays, if you go to the old city, there are many, many of the Zilbermans, they were filling all day. You see them at the Kaisal all the time. And you see that when it comes Shkia, they take them off. As we've seen, you're allowed to wear them at night, but it's not the right thing to do. Benimsa Allah says, Mishmurus of Katan Tess, Tavka Nimsa Maikilan Umairidin. Only if it happened, this is going on the end of the case, that you have nowhere to take off your tefillin. So you wore them into the nighttime and you're wearing them the Dafka to guard them. Then we let you continue, says Mishabura. Shemishvil Hashmirais are lachloids. Because you're guarding them, you don't have to take it off. I feel kolal ayla calls mashal yashin as long as you're not going to sleep. But to put them on purposely is aser. There are some that are mekel even in this. Let's continue with sif gimel. Hi, all right. So later the derech beish come. You want to go on the road early in the morning? Manichan, put on your tefillin. And when the time that you're allowed to put on your tefillin, I mean, you're putting them on earlier, you mash them, you move them around, and you make a bracha. There's no worry, you might fall asleep in them, because you're getting up early to go on the road. And this, of course, is common for those who are, because of an aynes or work or whatnot, are forced to have an extremely early in the morning. Sometimes they're diving even before this man. So you're allowed to put on your tefillin, and then when it comes to this man, you move them and you make the bracha. Says the Mishabur that you're doing this, why? And explains the Mishnah and it's difficult to do it afterwards. Because of the cold or other reasons. Early in the morning, even early, early before Amur HaShachar. And you have Kavana continues the Mishnah even to wear them for the Mitzvah. As we've seen, ostensibly, you're allowed to wear night. In this case, even if you have a place to watch them, you still had to put them on. Given the lekel and mechas shami yisham em kila kamei, because there's no concern you might fall asleep because you're dafka waking up to put them on. When the time comes, even though they let you put on early at night, when you're not afraid you're going to fall asleep, they don't want to let you say vitzivanu, though you're commanded before the appropriate time. If you made a bracha by mistake, you don't have to make a second bracha, and this is probably a very common case early in the morning, so it's putting a Filling and he's not used to the uh, not making a bracha and he made the bracha. The diavid he is yoytze. The yotzel aderech says Mishnah Bura says continue yadala v'davka olich baraglav ay roichev and his feet are he's riding. Avol yoshev agolav he's sitting in a caravan. Also laniach shami yishem and we're afraid he's gonna fall asleep. And I in in the beer halacha. So for a moment let's see the dear show over here. Note number nope I don't have the dear show note number eight. Okay. So let's see the dear shoe. Note number one, going back on the first if, interesting key, it says the Shalas Chuba Shalomish, if you're not sure if it's the time to put it on, then you're allowed to put it on and make a bracha as we've seen, because in the Ikra din, you're allowed to wear tefillin at night. So if you're not sure, you're allowed to put them on then. And this certainly could happen if someone doesn't have the right zimanim, etc. Let's just see dear shino number three before we call it a day. He explains, are you allowed to make the kesher of the tefillin at night? This all is based on the same halacha, says the Shalat Shubas, Pnei Maven. It's allowed. Why? As we keep on seeing, because nighttime the Raisa is the time of tefillin. It's only a dinder abanan, not to do it at night. Okay, similarly, similarly, um, says the dear shino number four, why are you allowed to put it on bein hashmashais? So the bir halacha explains the reason is because some of them the rice you allowed to do and you're being machmer be suffic and maybe now it's it's, it's daytime because it's bein hashmashais. Therefore, it's a svek svek. And we come on, come Do not make a bracha. Why? Because we regard them as arguing the magen Avraham, and therefore you're allowed to put on the tefillin bein hashmashais, but you do not make a bracha. And with that. On uh, Dershin number six points out that Tiny Zebra as well, we don't wear talus at night for the same reason. We'll pick it up from Siftalid in the next year.